What's up guys, it's Darno here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Cannon. So I'm playing top lane against Fiora and I'll be using new Inferno Cannon skin. Let's go with Dance Blade and Q first. And I'm gonna show you the best build and rules for Cannon. A nice combination of on hit and burst. So here are the runes, we press the attack and let's take a look at his recall. Pretty solid skin for Cannon, I like it. And let's get to his skill explanation. So on passive Cannon's abilities add one stack of Mark of the Storm to their target for 6 seconds. If the target reaches 3 stacks, it is stunned for 1.25 seconds and Cannon gains 25 energy. Then Q your main poking ability, you throw a shuriken that deals magic damage to the first enemy it hits. Then W on passive every 5 attacks, Cannon deals bonus magic damage and adds a Mark of the Storm to his target, which is his passive. Then on active, you deal magic damage to all targets affected by your passive or by your ultimate. And that's it. So basically with your passive, if you manage to land three different abilities at your enemy, then you will stun the target upon reaching stacks. Q doesn't go through minions, so can't really use it now on the target like I want to. Nice. And this is W, so you poke like this, it's simple. Nice. This is why press that attack is so good. Free damage. And as you can see I was out of range so even though I hit her with Q I wasn't able to damage her. So keep that in mind to be in range. Oh, she got stunned. So close. Uh, one for one, unfortunate a bit. Second runs blade, why not? Long sword. That was your E, so you deal magic damage to all targets you pass through, and you are gaining 100% movement speed. This is good for wave clearing, because take a look, you can damage all the targets with your W. Okay. So against Fiora I have to be careful about her W. So I want him to stun her. Steady. You know, based on her health. I want to do something risky. Yes, that was worth it. And buy, so you can use your E to get away or to engage. 
good stunt again. She was really mad for this skill. Now there's my OT. And this ultimate is a very really powerful ability. So usually you engage with E and ultimate and just deal damage to surrounding targets for 3 seconds. One important thing, when doing the combo with flash, press OT first and then flash so you'll begin the animation and it will work really smooth, surprising your enemies. That was an example of OT. Maybe a bit too early. But since I'm still poking her, it's okay. She got hit by that. Very nice. Ah, yeah. Throwing Q right after killing minion can be good. Immediately E back. Avoid the potential re-engage. And again, nice. So free poke. Got pretty low cooldown on that Q. I was so sure that this Q will land, so I immediately used my W. It should be maxing W second. I want to dive her. She has her W, that's why she's so confident, of course. But... The Q is still applied. So pretty nice. And let's back, that's a good start. So after your E, you are gaining 40% attack speed for 4 seconds, that makes a difference, Kenai is refunded 40 energy if he damages at least one enemy while casting E. Let's go with Gunblade first, it's really fun, it's really strong, I recommend this. So as for the full explanation of your ulti, you are gaining 20 armor and magic resist. And you deal magic damage, so the bonus resistance really helps when being focused by others in a team fight. Because this OT is so good for team fights. Each OT hit applies your passive stack, so it's possible to stun just from the OT. That was nice, good job. I'm gonna save my E until the very last moment. I kind of wasted my time, probably he knew that I'm coming, so...
Nice. Ach, not enough. You are pushing, I'm gonna back first. Cannon is really fun, so actually it's worth stunning your target with your QWE and then out to stun again. Wow, you're kidding me with that stun duration. That took forever. Well, that shouldn't happen, Sat. Wow, Shivana is so fat. Unnecessary damage from a turret. That's really tilting. Use W immediately to avoid the turret damage. Has Mercury threats. And gosh, it dragged me back. Okay, fine. Gonna be a hard game. Let's take that down. Break for us, nice. Oh, never mind. Really? That's it. I definitely need Morello now. So let's go. So even though you can stun twice, the duration is going to be shorter if it happens within 6 seconds. Keep that in mind.
Just balance stuff. And of course you can ult during hourglass. That's pretty standard combo. So avoid getting one shotted. Shivana. She was so confident. Nice, we can win this. Wow, Queen, stop! What are you doing? Expected damage. She got hit. Don't underestimate cannon's damage for your own good. Let's go that hourglass. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. He ulted me actually. They were focusing me so hard. I didn't know that. If you feel confident, you can also go dead cap instead of an hourglass and just burst down enemies. But here, when Shivana is so fat, I'm feeling like this is a good option.
This queen is insane. Nice. Domination, secondary rules, granting me so much health back. Queen, are you inting? Not actually, you survived. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the damage. And they surrendered, so thanks guys for watching, I hope that you learned something about Canon and if you did then please leave a like, subscribe and you can also check out my other videos and stream, see you next time.